Crossing story is the universal story of growing up. Now, I've been trying to figure out exactly what growing up means for years. The truth is, I'm still not sure what it means. For some, the border between youth and adulthood is a legal one. One completed when you turn 18 and the law says your childhood is over now. For some, that border is defined by pragmatic markers of independence, learning how to drive, living on your own, learning to cook. But for some of us, and I would dare say most of us, or at least myself, the border between youth and adulthood is a blurry one. One you aren't really ever sure you've crossed until it's happened. One whose journey is long and can't necessarily be marked with definite start and end dates. Like any border crossing, growing up is hard, as I'm sure many of us in the room can agree with, even the adults. You leave things behind that felt like home, and the journey is difficult even if it is exciting. Just like some people leave countries for different reasons, people depart childhood for different reasons too. Some of us are eager too. We hear of the opportunities and freedoms that lay just out of reach in the distant land of adulthood, and we're eager to begin this journey. Sometimes we're forced to. Refugees of the conflict in our own lives, displaced from the innocence of youth, made to grow up too quickly, we aren't ready to leave, and yet we have to. No matter the reason this journey takes place, just like people who've had to leave the place they've grown up in, we often get homesick for childhood, but we call it nostalgia. The thing is, just as a hundred people can come from one country and arrive in another and all share completely different border crossing stories, the, the, we all share different border crossing stories from our journey from childhood to adulthood, even though we are all coming from and going to the same place. I think growing up occurs in a series of accidents, a culmination of unexpected moments, maybe not completely accidental, but mostly. What I mean is, I think I grew up a little the first time I had to make myself dinner, a little more when I had to make it for my little sister. The weight of another's hunger in your hands is always greater than your own, and even after I fed her, I took that weight to bed, and I do not think it has ever left me. What I mean is, I think I grew up a little the first time I got a paper cut, the first time I learned where blood came from, learned how fragile flesh was. I grew up a little more the first time I got a paper cut and did not tell my mother, the first time I ever hurt quietly, ran the pain under cold water alone, tried to remember where we kept the bandages because I had never had to do this by myself before. Do you know what that's like? To be responsible for your own healing to know no one can help you unless you ask, to know this ache is completely your own, for what is more a loss of youth than having to take responsibility for your own life? I grew up a little the first time I made a promise, the first time I crossed my heart and hoped to die like I knew what death was, like I knew yet what it was to pray for it, the first time I tasted someone else's belief on my tongue, like I knew how to carry the weight of a vow without dropping it. I grew up a little more the first time I broke a promise, held the shattered pieces of an oath, marveled at how delicate trust was, how easily betrayal draws blood from those you never meant to scar. I grew up a little the first time I learned that good things don't last forever. I learned this the first time I finished a bowl of ice cream, the first time I grew out of a dress, the first time I finished a book, the first time I lose a friend. I grew up a little the first time I learned that some good things do last forever, but you never know which ones will or won't survive unless you give them a chance to, unless you give them the chance to hurt you too. And that is scary, but life is too short to spend being scared of good things, even if they don't stay good forever. What I mean is, I grew up a little the first time someone asked me for forgiveness, the first time I realized I had any, the first time I realized someone could hurt me and be sorry for it, that it was possible for someone to regret causing me pain. I grew up a little more the first time someone asked me for forgiveness and I gave it, a little more the first time I didn't, the first time I realized my mercy is mine to give, the first time I realized that there is some things in this life an apology cannot fix. I grew up a little more the first time I forgave someone who did not deserve it. And I did it for no one but myself. The first time I decided that my peace was worth more than someone else's penance. I grew up a little more the first time I told a lie. A little more the first time I held a lie on my tongue and swallowed it with my pride and told the truth instead, even when it was sharp and left my mouth mangled. What I mean is, I grew up a little the first time stretch marks kissed the skin of my hips. A little more the first time a girl in the gym class change room told me she had a cream that could fix that. A little more the first time I said no. What I mean is, I grew up a little the first time I fell out of love with my body. And I grew up a little more the first time I chose to fall in love with it again. And I know I said growing up occurs mostly on accident, but this, this was on purpose. Thank you. When you were younger, all you knew was the pond that contained your family and it was safe and you knew everybody in the pond. 
But then you grew and you stepped into the, or you, you traveled to the lake, which was your first school experience. And you met new people and had new experiences and learned new things. And now you're just leaving a bigger lake, right? And now you're about to step out into the ocean. And so each time your borders expand, right? And hopefully you, you have allowed more experiences in, you've navigated what your pond, like that initial pond and what your family believes, and you're maybe working through, you know what, I don't know if I, if I believe that anymore, and maybe I'm incorporating new things, right? And so as you're going through all of these stages, um, I just wanna leave you with one last thought. I haven't been paying attention to the time, so I don't know how I'm doing. Um, I wanna leave you with one last thought, and that's just to encourage you to think about ways that you can let people in. Um, and I say that because as an adult working with youth, I often feel like there's this magical youth bubble, and, and I'm allowed in sometimes, um, but sometimes I'm not. And sometimes I get it right, and sometimes I don't. Um, but to allow others into your life, even if they maybe don't look the same as you or they're a different age um, than you, but allow those experiences to happen. Take those steps of bravery into new uh, crossing borders um, and you'll experience a richer, fuller life. To keep it all inside, but it's too strong to fight against, so the feelings cannot hide. I only know what was good when the bad gets worse. I only know what was good when the bad gets worse. journey, it becomes so clear, conscious, collected, conscientious, creatives, holding each other, accountable, bountiful, listening intently, respectfully, passionately. We lay together sweetly, picnic, sun rays, the food laid, the ants wait. What a beautiful day. We are ready for you to share your story. And that began with me working through mine, the time, the space, the continuing love given, participation ribbons, the effort is being celebrated, the intentional steps to creating safety, ensuring everyone can speak at your own pace, in our own preparedness. We value intimacy. That is where we find the beauty, this in between the words and music and movements are the vessels, the stories, our truth, and how we got here, where we are, and where we are going. That's the free flowing. Wishes, wrecked to richest, reminiscing what I'm missing, searching for a merchant. Can I buy things that remind me of a time? Take me back to a place. Can't figure, but I'll find it Sensations, foundations 
can't place a finger on a time Take me back to a place where I belong These complications, yeah, they seem to come and go I found it, I'm content, forever searching for it, my journey, I'll lock it, we'll never find the key.